in a few days a brand new 3d printer is going to be released to the public available but is it really that new didn't we see this design before well let's talk all about it right here on zachary 3d prints the artillery m1 pro let's dive right in hey zach here and welcome to this video the artillery m1 pro well it is a core xy 3d printer and it is a design that we have seen before well i'm going to look through the website and see if there are some specialties on this 3d printer that makes this stand out from all others that are looking the same i think it's basically a crossing between the bumble labs x1c with the ams and the creality k2 with the cfs and some other 3d printers that have a very similar design is it all the same let's dive right in and so here we are if we are looking here to the image we can already take a lot of information out of it well if you are looking closely to it we have an ams ams cfs kind of uh, multi material system that looks very very similar like what creality did we have here a display with all the readings with the temperatures the humidity and also some other stuff the screen looks like the one that we have seen on the k2 but also on the x1c from bamboo labs the door with also the way how the doorknob is it's very very similar like we have seen here on the 3d printers i've got the bamboo labs p1s i've got the k1 what in how far does this one looks and feels exactly like the other ones well let's scroll a little bit further and let's go all over it well basically this is a metal structure an aluminum die cast frame with some panels on the left and the right side glass on the top and a glass door on the front similar very similar like we have seen before then we have here the front side the front side i do need to say that if this machine really looks like aluminum uh, steel this looks very sleek and very pleasing because you can have a lot of 3d printers but the design from this machine is appealing or it is not appealing for me this machine looks very nice i like how the machine looks like how the colors look like and it's um aesthetic a pleasing then we have here also the screen we have here the side panel with of course the brand name on it makes all total sense the screen we have seen a lot of screens on those kind of machines the bamboo labs the creality uh, the, the the qd tags all, all machines that are you know basically clones of each other or clones from the bamboo labs they all have the same kind of screen however in this kind of way it is looking like e-paper a sort of very monochronic uh, kind of uh, design in how the user ui looks like i like the design it's it's nice simple it's looking beautiful it's looking like reading a newspaper but then on your 3d printer then we have also a image or a picture from the back side there's a fan of course a poop shoot for the filament and some other essentials that are needed for this machine on the back side we have here the power outlet or the power inlet with the on off switch we have here also two connectors and i believe that one is for the multicolor unit or the filament unit and the other one i believe that is a rg45 ethernet port which i do like i mean you can have the option to to run a 3d printer from your wi-fi network or connecting it over ethernet cable and directly wired to your network system then we have also a fan on the back side this fan is an activated uh, active carbon filter smart and simpler smart dot simpler dot i don't know if they want to make a statement here because they are using a dot after every word so smart simple okay let's let's see what they mean with this every print well the image that they are showing here it looks like a piece of paper because it's square it's white it's see-through so i assume that the image represents one first layer from this 3d printer and they also say say here start with ease so you don't have to do a lot with this 3d printer in order to start printing is it really is it really that simple that you take it out of the box you connect the power cable to the printer you are loading up filament and you can start printing i think there are some other things that you need to do like calibrating like running several tests in before you can start using this 3d printer where i came from a time that you had to assemble almost a full 3d printer and then doing the calibrations and then starting printing 
So yes, it is a whole lot easier, but there's now some other things that needs to be done in order to get some amazing prints out of a 3D printer. For this, in this case, the Artillery M1 Pro. Smartwatch, easy print. Well, this 3D printer, I'm not really sure if it is an optional thing. Well, basically it's something that the Creality K1 has as well. If you have bought a camera that is attached and installed to the printer, but I have tried it several times and it doesn't recognize the tool that I had on my build plate. Now, I'm not really sure what Atelier is doing, if they are including the camera with the printer already, or if you have to buy it separately. I have seen in the past some other brands uh, saying like, hey, AI detection, camera, blah, blah, blah. But in the end, it's an optional camera. You have to buy it separately. In this case, AI detection, very cool, very nice. If it works from the start, AI intelligent monitoring system tracks extrusion status and instantly detects consumable extrusion faults. <sighs> filament error or filament spaghetti detection basically. So if a print fails, and it doesn't matter if you get some noodles on your build plate or uh, an, a, a, a model gets kicked over, the AI camera should detect something like this and pause the print. It's funny, they call it AI. They pause the print until the user says what to do. Is that AI? I'm not really sure if they are going to stop the print and what then? What is going to happen? Which kind of error messages are you going to get? Smart loop control. They are pointing here to three parts uh, or three areas where a fan is active or where a fan is going to do something. We have a hot end fan. We have an auxiliary cooling fan. It's basically the same kind of fan that I have on the uh, QDTEC X Plus 3 and also on the Creality K1. Chamber temperature regulator fan. Very cool. Sounds nice. It's something that they have added uh, to, to this M1 Pro. So it blows air inside or is it, ex you know, pulling the cold air out? And the hot air filament detection ser what? Servo? Sensor? filament detection sensor so that's cool there's a filament detection in there if this loaded with filament yes or no auto cut off module very uh, helpful if you are going to run a multi-filament system and then we have with activated carbon filter for both internal and external internal and external circulation so you can take the cover off and then it starts blowing air in and if you are closing it it doesn't do anything then does that work automatically dream it and print it well here we have a little image the build plate volume of this 3d printer is 260 times 260 times 260 millimeters basically basically in the same range as the standard right 600 millimeters per second maximum print speed also standard 200 millimeters per second square maximum acceleration standard and 35 millimeter cubed per second maximum flow rate you know what i'm going to say Exactly, standard. I have seen this before and it's not something brand new. Advanced components enable superior durability. Well, that's that's promising. Steel dual gear direct drive. Heated, heat treated stainless steel gears ensure strong precise grip on filament for smoother extrusion and superior print quality. Hardened steel nozzle 55 HRC. I don't know what that exactly means. Hardened steel nozzle, fine. Cool. So you, you get already this 3D printer standard with a hardened steel nozzle instead of a brass version. That's cool. That's nice. That's something that's decent. That's what we expect nowadays, especially when the printers are going in higher temperatures, different filaments. You need to have a filament or a nozzle that is hard enough that people can use it right away from the start. Yeah, you don't want to have a cheap brass nozzle on there. You want to have some decent quality. Uh, intelligent temperature control. The M1 Pro features a 60 degrees C actively heated chamber with a high temperature hot end reaching up to 320 C. Nowadays, if you are going to buy one of those 3D printers, you want to make sure that if you are printing with those engineering filaments needs to have a heated chamber. They want to have a nice hot environment to be printed in. That this 3D printer comes standard with a active heated chamber. That is nice, but not all companies are having a heated chamber standard. Dual sided flexible plate. Now that is cool because on some of the 3D printer nowadays, you can use one side. I know that the Bamboo Lab B1S has two sides on the build plate, so you can use both sides. But having the possibility or having the option to have a build plate, one side textured PEIs and on the other side like a smooth 
print surface so that you have just one plate that you can use on both sides for different applications. That That's nice. Precise in motion. Oh, I like this. Um, okay, so for the x-axis, they are using some linear rails. For the y-axis, enhanced dual motors. Well, this 3D printer is a Core XY. And on the back of the y-axis, you have two motors, but both motors are working together to move the printhead over the X and over the Y axis. So yeah, you have two motors there, but both need to work together in order to move it along the Y axis, but also on the X axis. For the Z axis, they have smooth rods with linear bearings. Like mentioned, this is a core XY system. If you didn't know it, well, now you know. Monolithic cast aluminum frame. Well, basically, if, if we are looking to these images, it looks like the Bamboo Labs P1P and yeah, the Creality K1 second edition. Artillery OS system. Oh my gosh. So if this printer from Artillery is running Clipper, they cannot say Artillery OS system. It's Clipper. We have, or I have seen in the past, something called Creality OS, while it was Fluid, a Clipper-based software that runs on the 3D printer, letting things go quick and fast. So, Artillery OS system? Is that basically the same as Creality OS? Level up with one easy step. I hope you only need to press the button, like most of the others. I really hope that. Here they say the Z offset. Is it something that you and I as a user need to do? Or just in the calibration process, it is it doing automatically doesn't say that here precise and speed with advanced input shaping yeah one of the features from clipper input shaper when the printer goes fast you will get some artifacts on the on the in the walls which you don't want to have power outage recovery well this 3d printer doesn't have a glass plate so it won't pop off the build plate when no power is there so yeah power outage recovery very cool handy and also much needed as long as the model doesn't come off the build plate everything is fine but what happens if the power comes back up, does the printer still know that there is a print still on the build plate? Is that not going wrong? I really want to test something like that. So we have here the specs from the M1 Pro. Uh, the build volume, like mentioned, 260 times 260 times 260 millimeters. Hot end has a 80 watt ceramic heating. Detachable hot end, yes. So basically what we have seen before as well. Extruder gears, yeah, hardened steel, 55 HRC. Auto leveling, ooh, this is interesting. Auto leveling, support. Meaning that you need to do something while the printer is doing the auto leveling. AI camera, time lapse plus surf surface plus detection plus foreign object detection. I don't read here that the AI camera is an optional. So I assume that this 3D printer comes standard with a camera communication wi-fi so the port on the back side is i think for another multi-filament system so what do i think about the artillery m1 pro well it's basically what we have seen before the bamboo labs p1p p1s the x1 x1c the creality k1 the k2 all of them are always looking like already existing machines but then the question comes, how much difference is Artillery going to make in order to attract potential customers for this 3D printer? Is it going to be the price? Is it going to be the features that this printer has? When it comes to the features, I think that a lot of things are just the same. I don't want to bash the uh, brand Artillery because they really want to hop into the same bandwagon that all other companies are doing or most of the companies that have a similar 3D printer. Price-wise, I hope this printer costs around the 600 usd maybe cheaper with the multicolor unit or the multi-filament unit eh, we are going to talk about the combo price and it would be around the uh, 1200 usd but let me know in the comments what do you think about the artillery m1 pro